Welcome to Flatty Teacher. When it comes to add space between the widget in row or column, we use space between, space around or space evenly for the main axis value. But what if when we want custom spaces between the widgets? For this purpose, Flutter has the widget called Spacer and it is the topic for today's video. So without wasting time, let's get started. Spacer widget is used to create an adjustable spacing between the widgets in the flex container like a row and column. We have a row that contains two containers. First one is having the orange color and second one is having the blue color. You can observe here as for this row as there is no main axis uh, alignment specified. By default they are aligned at the starting of row. Consider I want some space between these two containers. So simply I can uncomment this line and I can write here say spacer. So what this spacer will do? It will add the space between these two widgets. So as there are no multiple widgets here means we have simply two widgets. So the spacer widget will occupy entire space whatever available inside these uh, inside between these two different widgets. Spacer widget has a property called flex and using this property we can divide multiple spaces in the desired ratio. For example, between this orange container and the blue container, I want some space and whatever space is here between this uh, orange and the blue container, I want the exact double space between this blue and the green container. For that purpose, what I have done, between the orange and blue container, we have a spacer and that spacer has got a flex value of 1 and between this blue and the green container, we again have a spacer and the observable thing here is, for this spacer, I have specified the flex value of 2, means whatever space is available here, so twice amount of space will be available inside this blue and the green container. So this is how using multiple spaces between the widget, we can have a customized or say desired kind of spacing between the widgets. Let's talk about some specialties of spacer. When we open source code of spacer, you can observe here, spacer is actually returning an expanded widget with the given flex value. So that's the reason, make sure whatever restrictions or whatever rules that we have to follow while using the expanded widget, all this rule has to be followed for using the spacer. Spacer is the widget that don't have a child. We can observe here, when I keep mouse on spacer, we can see for the spacer, we can specify the key and we can specify the flex. You can observe here, there is no option to specify the child explicitly for spacer. That's the reason I'm saying here, it is the widget without a child. As Spacer returns the expanded widget, we are bound to make it as descendant that is the first child in the row or column. Using Spacer, we can add spaces only in the main axis and not in the cross axis. Now let me talk about the special case. What happens when we use both Spacer and the main axis for row or column? You can observe here, we have a row and for this row, I'm using main axis alignment.center. And inside this row, as a children, we have some container and we have two spaces. You can observe here, as I'm using the main axis alignment center, you can observe on the output, my widgets are not aligned in a center. So reason for this here is, as we're using a spacer, so whenever we have a spacer and we have main axis alignment, so make sure that in such cases, your main axis alignment value will be ignored and Flutter gives respect or it gives highest priority to the spacer widget. You can observe here, if I comment, let's say spacer here, so let me comment these spaces and let me explain how it works or how it arranges in the center. So when I save it here, you can observe now my widgets that is containers are now aligned in the center. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.